This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by lynda.com, the unparalleled online video training library. For a free 10-day unlimited trial, visit lynda.com slash macvoices. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner at the Alt Conference and WWDC in San Francisco. I'm here with Max and Friedrich of Ulysses to talk about Ulysses. Gentlemen, it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Okay, so... Max, I'll start with you. What is Ulysses? Um, it's an application for writing, um, no matter what type or size or target, like from blog posts or diaries to novels, or we even have lawyers writing their contracts with it. Really? That's that's interesting. So it's not uh, it's, it's not primarily for the printed page? Is that a fair statement? It's because everything, with the possible exception of contracts that you just described, is more of an online thing. Yeah, it's um, mostly about um, yeah, you know, collecting the text, writing long text like novels or, or book articles, but it's not about layouting in the first place. Yeah, so it's very different than a, a, a traditional word processor. It's more of a text processor? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You could okay. say that. <laughs> um, and I think we were having the conversation last night that you all have done some modifications or, or I think you said fixed things in Markdown. So. <laughs> yeah, you could say so. So our, our focus is um, to to um, yeah, not people should not not think about what syntax exactly should be used for, for example, writing a link or or adding an image to to your document. You just should put a link into your document, and you get a popover where you can enter all the details about the link. So, so it simplifies that kind of thing. So it really does focus, I guess, on on the writing of the text, whatever the text is. Um, yeah, it's it's about it's about making it as simple as possible and as um, immersive as possible to to write whatever kind of text you want. I mean, we are not limited. You don't have to add links. You don't have to ha have images. But uh, if you want, then this is easily done. So that's uh, that's the. The idea is to not make um, to not make any expectations about what you want to write, but to set a frame a framework where within that framework you can do whatever you want, and people seem to like it. There's something about word processing, text editing, whatever that the people feel very passionately about. They find something they like, they find one they like, and they stick with it and will defend it to the end. And I'm, I've never quite understood that particular passion. I guess I just don't write enough. But why did you two create Ulysses? What, what is there about Ulysses that made you feel that there was a place in the market for yet another text, text editor? Well, to be honest, we started out 13 years ago on OS 10.1, and uh, we were the first, actually. Ulysses was probably one of the first, if not the first, um, text processor writing app that w there were only apps for secretaries like word or programmers like uh, bb edit and and the likes and uh, we were the first to do a word processor and after that came many 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 others and uh, we are still in the business and we redid it two years ago and are still on it but um, it's not that we thought about making just another one it's like <laughs> we did one of the original ones, yeah. Ulysses is obviously a Mac app, especially going back that far. Have you done anything with iOS to, to improve the writing environment there? Yeah, we actually have an iPad version of Ulysses, and we are going to make an iPhone version. And yeah, we also have another writing app, which is called Daedalus, that is a more yeah, simplified writing application. Um, yeah. S simplified as is. Mostly note taking, you know, taking a short note very quickly, and it's also for iPhone and iPad. It's interesting. So you you all really have just focused on the text only space. Is it just because that's where you you're comfortable, or you just see the need that's there, or just really love the product and want to keep it moving? Um, 
We strongly believe that no text is good as long as it's not uh, the text that is good. I mean, if, you fo if, you're, if you're distracted by layout and how, how it looks, then you will not be able to focus on the content of the text. And uh, our users and users of other writing apps, they all have the feeling that if they don't use these apps, they get distracted from what they want to write. So this is this is the the main the main idea of, of having plain text or um, having no formatting uh, is like focusing on the content on the words. We have, we most of these writing apps and Ulysses as well have a full screen mode where you just hide everything, have a black screen with a blinking cursor on it, and that's all you have. So what you have to do is write your text and the words, and that's the only thing that you do. I've used applications like that. I've not used Ulysses, but there's something there's something very welcoming about an empty screen like that. There's also something a little bit scary about it because you don't have anything to inspire or distract you. You only you're sort of alone with your thoughts. I, I would say you usually start out with an idea. If you you don't go go and I have to write something, you always come and have some idea about what you might write, and then. Because there's nothing else than the cursor, you just start typing, and as you type, you develop ideas, and maybe it's just such snapshots. But with Ulysses, we have this we have this library where there's a lot of text snippets, so you just shut down some ideas, and then you do another approach, and maybe maybe start act the actual writing, and then refer back to the notes. So that's I think I think the blank page can be frightening, but most, I mostly see it as a, as a motivator, like, I'm blank, fill me. <laughs> so, where do we go to get Ulysses? What kind of uh, pricing is there for Ulysses for the iOS and the, uh, and the Mac versions? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, U Ulysses is available on the App Store, so on the Mac App Store we have Ulysses for Mac, which is uh, $45, and on the iOS, um, or iPad App Store, we have Ulysses for iPad, which is $20. Great. And the website where they go to learn more about Ulysses is? Um, www.ulyssesapp.com. <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of figured. That's good. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us about it. Glad to have you, and I uh, hope you've had a great week here at WWDC. Thanks. Thank you. Folks, we'll have more from AltConf and WWDC in San Francisco. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard, by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.